The first time I did um, with Eric Brun, who ran the National Ballet of Canada for a number of years, for the first time um, he said, we'll do the Giselle, we'll do Giselle, and he was very good, we'll do Giselle. And I, I knew the ballet slightly, but Act Two, it always bothered me, this Act Two, it's called the White Act, it's all the girls. Um, in white, they this is with the, the London Ballet? No, this, this was in uh, Stockholm, it was to, Stockholm begin, to begin with. With Eric Brun in yeah. 1960... Something. Something, uh, right. Uh, and um, I do, and I'm saying to Eric Brun, um, this is how I start anyway, um, Act Two, Giselle, it's uh, the, 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 the core de ballet are spirits, they're brides who have been jilted in love, have died for love, and they are buried in unconsecrated ground. And they come out and they capture people and make them dance till they die. That's the premise of it, rough, roughly. And uh, brides, and when I, and I said, you know, those dumb white dresses, oh, yeah, it's sort of yucky, you know. And I went to the Gautier, the Gautier story. And Gautier said that um, there were brides, ding, they were buried in unconsecrated ground. Ding, and the and then the the the, uh, the sentence said, and the hems of their dresses were always damp. So it conjures up not a pretty glade, but a German Gothic pine forest with fallen trees and roots and stuff. So you could lift all the roots off the stage, give them room for dancing, pretend water, shattered pine trees, gauze, silver, see-through, and the willies in bride's dresses, classical ballet shape which is necessary, but to make them look like wet Miss Havisham wedding dresses that were cobwebs and spangled with dew and dying flowers and things like that. And then when Eric came back with Desmond, we use wet white. What? Wet white, we use wet white. White white? Wet white. It's what, dance, wet white. Yeah, what dancers always wore in the late 19th century to make their skin even, even more alabaster-like. And, and I said, well, good luck with those Swedish girls who are brownish and tan. But he did. And the effect was extraordinary. Because when the curtain went up, okay, they all appeared on all the court, the entire court of ballet in rows came up on a lift, yeah? All together, dead spirits, with their wedding veils from here to the hem of their dresses, appearing as if they were shattered like cobwebs. They all came out of the court with mist, row upon row upon row till the whole stage is full. The gentle mist amongst that. 